Yo, what's up, guys? Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Black Friday. Uh, hope you guys got some good shopping in, if that's your thing. I did do Amazon shopping. I can't even cap. Uh, you know, they're good deals. What are you supposed to do? But if you guys can see behind me, I got this M2 MacBook Air. And I've been getting really serious on coding. And there's some projects I want to show you guys. So let's get to it. I did quickly want to shout out these Govi lights. Uh, they're RGB, but I just keep them on this like mood lighting. Uh, they're really nice. You can control them through an app and they are actually like super bright. Um, that's like probably 30% they're on right now. But these were like $30 on a Black Friday deal. So just wanted to mention them in case somebody from Govi is watching. I like them. I review them. If you're looking for somebody to sponsor, you know, I might have somebody for you. <sighs> All right, guys, we're getting up close and personal now. Um, so let's let's talk about first off. Why did I get the MacBook Air? Um, it's pretty simple. In my case, I got the M2 MacBook Air with 16 gigs of RAM. With the type of work I'm doing, it just felt like if I'm gonna sacrifice the fans, like I gotta I gotta upgrade something. And the only other thing that makes the most difference is the RAM. So I kept the 256 gigabits gigabytes of storage, uh, just the base M2 chip, but we upped that RAM to 16 gigs. To get this machine, I did trade in my iPad Pro. That one was like an older generation. It was getting slow and it, it's not really compatible with a lot of like the newer features and all this AI because it doesn't have a newer engine, I'm pretty sure. But um, it was really old, so it was just time to get rid of it. Uh, I'm gonna start saving up to get a new one. But for now, I really just need one machine. I've been doing everything on this M2 MacBook Air. And I want to show you guys exactly what I've been working on. The first project that I've really like started to finish, completed, put out there, have made is Midwest Vault. And that's an online e-commerce shop. And that's where I'm going to resell like all these clothes I have that are like new, but they don't fit me or I don't want them or whatever reason. If I think they're good enough condition, like I'm going to post them up there and try to sell them. But it's really cool because there's a lot of different technologies involved and it took like, it's like like a week staying up like all day, all night. I'm talking like four o'clock in the morning, but it was worth it, man. It was fun. I like it. And I got something now that can potentially make me money. You know, the, the idea is to rent out like the software and pretty much empower like small businesses to like do their own thing. I'm really doing it more right now just as like a way to to expand my portfolio. I'm not really trying to like make money right now. I just want to, you know, build those connections, put my work out there, get feedback. Very, very, you know, base level stuff, but that's how it starts, man. So I'm really excited. Uh, let me show you guys midwestvault.com and what that looks like. All right, guys, so this is my, my project here, Midwest Vault. Uh, let me adjust the lighting a little bit here. All right, so I put two views up so you guys can see the uh, the desktop view and then the mobile view. Um, there's a lot of different features involved. One of them is authentication. This is done by Clerk. So you have to sign in to make an account and we can even demo that. So let's go ahead and sign out. Let's say uh, I wanna add this to my card. I sure already have that other item as an example. So if we go to cart, uh, we secured a total of two items, $75, log in and check out. I got my credentials saved, but as you can see, secured by clerk. Let me continue and card. Now we have that checkout button. So if we check out, we are redirected to Stripe. And then we can see our details. You see that code came in so that I can pay using link, but if I don't want to pay using link, I can just click that button and search credit card or cash app pay and then pay. Um, it's, it's all like active, so don't buy anything if you don't actually want to buy it. Um, but it's pretty cool. It's all linked to my Stripe, so it just goes straight to me. And the really cool part is that I'm only paying payment processing fees, which is the bare minimum. So that's like 1.5% or 1% plus 30 cents, which is like, you know, what more can you ask for really? So um, it's really cool because it also, if you pay on mobile, like on your phone, 
Um, it'll give you the option to Apple Pay, which is an extra layer of security and just, you know, makes it seem more professional and legit, which it is, you know, it's a fully functioning website. And, you know, we got the about page, just a little bit about Midwest Vault. Um, we also have the privacy policy and the contact form. And then you're asked to open mail. And then from whatever email you want to send, goes to support at midwestvault.com. So it's pretty nice, man. Um, it's, it's, not, it's not complicated to use. Um, it's pretty complex in the back end, but um, I really wanted to make it simple for people to use. So if you do like either of these items, there is a Black Friday code for 10% off. Uh, one time use for new customers. Uh, so once you use it on your account, can't use it again, but you know, go crazy, do what you guys want to do. But uh, yeah, man, I got two products up here, the Yeezy Gap No Seam T-shirt and these Zara pants that really nice. I knew it weren't gonna fit, but I still got them and they didn't fit, so brand new. Um, everything is at a discount, obviously I'm not you know, trying to make huge amounts of money. I'm just trying to get rid of old clothes that I think are a little bit too nice to donate. You know, there's a couple bucks to be made, so why not? Um, if you guys do make a purchase, you'll see your orders right here. So these are test orders I've made, not paying myself. These are always test credit cards. But yeah, man, you know, this is what it looks like on mobile. So pretty similar view, just more, more responsive. So that was Midwest Vault. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that little preview. Um, there's a lot that went on in the back end, like to make that happen, to be able to add products and have the basket be saved and send all that info to Stripe, which processes the payment. It's super complicated, but you know, the goal is to make things simple for the user. So while the website might look simple, there's, there's a ton going on in the back end and Doing all that work, it saves you so much money, man, because you can go on Grailed, you can go on StockX, you can go on Depop, and they're great. They have a big following, they have more exposure, um, but they take so many fees, so much commission, it just almost makes it not worth it when you have like really slim margins. So making your own app, just attaching Stripe, that's pretty much as low as it gets. I'm paying like 1% plus 30 cents, which is, you know, I'm happy to pay that instead of like, 20 30 40 percent somewhere else so the goal is to just brand and market midwest vaults and just get a following get customers and we'll see where it goes man i really want to really want to package it up and be able to serve it to other people so they can you know start their business start their online shop it just benefits everyone you know when you have a service that you can offer to people in need you know it's business it's just business. All right, guys, so that's all for today. Um, there are more coding videos coming soon. I really have been putting in work to learn and just create stuff. I like building apps. It's pretty fun. So um, I want to teach you guys some of the things that I've learned. So stay tuned for that. Uh, for the people that watched my last video on music production, there are also videos coming out for that. I'm just not as good at producing, producing music as I am as coding. So I do a little bit more of this, but... This channel is all about creating stuff, uh, no matter what the medium is. So stay tuned for a lot of different types of content. Uh, once again, happy Thanksgiving, guys. Uh, like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you guys have questions or just want to chat. It's always nice to say hello. Uh, but that's all. Deuces.